welcome to another Wobbly Camera Guy video. I was at about time I introduced myself to you, and today we have a review this 21 band AM, FM, and shortwave radio and MP3 player combo that I originally purchased from AliExpress. So, without further ado, let's go take a look. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing this 21 band radio and MP3 player that I originally bought from AliExpress in China. It's just about survived its journey all the way from China. A little bit of a graze on the corner there, and that was caused in part, to be honest, just by the fact it was just sent through in this little bubble wrap bag. But it has survived, and with it, you get a little USB lead, and you just get a very, very basic instruction leaflet. It's very compact. Um, overall size is 108 wide, 68 high by 34 deep. Did the old mugshot test there, so you've got a better feel for it. As I mentioned, it is 21 bands, and those comprise of 18 shortwave bands, and they cover from 3.9 megahertz to 22.2 megahertz. You've got two FM bands, and I'll come to that in a moment. And then you've got an AM band covering between 522 to 1620 megahertz. Let's quickly go through the controls on the front and then we'll pair it up. So we've got a nice digital display, MP3 button, FM and AM button, shortwave, reverse and forward. And now they're used both for going up and down the various bands that you've selected and also up and down the various music tracks. On off button, 10 little buttons there for storing uh, what I thought originally was going to be your radio stations. In fact, all they're doing there is just recording tracks on your MP3 player. A little bit disappointing, but to be honest, I'm not going to argue too much. Um, volume up, volume down. On the side, we've got a, a manual thumb wheel for tuning, which is nice. Normally with this, with a digital display, you get buttons for scanning up and scanning down, but it's got a thumb wheel, and it is actually nice to use, I have to say that. You've got a USB uh, connection there for putting in your USB sticks for your music card. We've got a 5-volt connection there for the power. On the top, got a micro SD slot there, and then on the rear, you can see the battery compartment, which takes an 18650 battery. It doesn't come with a battery. Um, I've put in a, a 4800 milliamp hour battery, and this has lasted a couple of days or 12 hours a day, and it's still got plenty of life left in it, so it's doing well on that front. What I'm going to do now is pair it up and see how she performs. So put the little aerial up, and it is a little aerial. It's only around about 270 millimeters long. We'll put the power button on. Okay, so we're in and FM mode. These performances are extremely adopted. It's 17th century. As you can see, that, that's on the standard FM band, which is 88 to 108 megahertz, and it's nice and clear there. So 45 millimeters speaker, so it's quite adequate, and the display is nice. It's not backlit, but nevertheless, it gives you a clear indication. I'm now going to put it on to the second FM band. Turn the, the volume back up. And you won't hear anything on this. And the reason it's got this second band, and that covers 70 to 87 megahertz, is that because it's made for the Chinese market in China, they have what's known as campus radio. And campus radio is basically it's a national Chinese broadcast system, which is aimed primarily at its students, and that with that they broadcast their music and education and news programs, etc. It might be site run, I'm not sure, but they pick it all up on those frequencies. So I'm now going to pop it on to AM, so I'll turn the volume back up. Drop that down again. No problem picking up the AM band there. I'm now going to try it on shortwave now. Please bear in mind I'm recording this in the daytime, so to pick up shortwave in the daytime is a neat trick anyway, and with such a short, short arrow, it may or may not do it. But we'll give it a whirl and see what we've got. So let's pop it back on again. Whoops, it's in sleep mode there. That's shortwave. 
Gonna go up a couple of bands because there's nothing right to the bottom end. Now that noise you can hear, I'm not sure if that's because I'm radiating electrical noise um, from the area that I'm actually doing recording. Where this is the radio itself, I've tried it with another shortwave radio, and again, I'm picking up the same noise, so forgive me if that's annoying. Let's try one more. I'm actually doing quite good to pick up shortwave in the daytime. Let's try a couple more. Turn that down. To be honest, getting anything in the daytime on a very short aerial is good at uh, you know, to be honest. So we are not doing too bad, so I'm not gonna fault this radio at all. Now I'm gonna try it on the MP3 player, so I'm just gonna pop in a little USB stick there. Turn the volume up. So yeah, working well on that. We'll try a little micro USB card. And again, just going up and down. well on that as well let's just pop that out so all in all not a bad radio stroke mp3 player so the question is how much did i pay for this well would you believe i paid seven pounds 45 at the time recording plus three pounds and eight pence shipping so that gives you a total of ten pounds 53 all around events are of 14 dollars so the question you can ask yourself is it worth it I think it is actually um, to get 21 bands and a digital display around that sort of price point is pretty good going and to have the bonus of an mp3 player as well and um, just to give you a bit more an idea of size um, I've got this Reticus V115 similar features to that one this one costs around about 17 pounds but this is a little bit more sort of uh, advanced and to be honest that's a little crack into a radio and I have done a, a video on this if you want to pop across my channel have a look at it but nevertheless um, it's not going to detract from this. I think it's a nice, compact, easy to use radio and MP3 player. So there you go. It's the F170. So I appreciate you watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, then please give me a thumbs up. I'm still trying to grow my channel. Plenty of other videos, if you do pop across to my channel, both on sort of cheap Chinese radios and some vintage radios as well, as well as some videos on editing, utilising HitFilm Express. So again, appreciate you watching and I'll catch up with you soon.